here with Wisconsin head coach Paul Christ. Coach, how you doing? Doing well, thanks. You? I'm getting there. I'm getting there, right, Coach. You good. and I, we're, we're going to do this. Uh, right. So my question for you is, who let Graham Merch drop the trophy? <laughs> I don't know, but it ended up uh, in a weird way, ended up being a pretty good move. I want to know who had the, the tape to fix it and to rescue it <laughs> okay. and, and to create the new trophy real well. Because afterwards, you know, it was uh, it kind of took on a life of its own. Very much so. I, it I, was I, a pretty good thing, I guess. I hope your uh, equipment manager is, is well paid. <laughs> I think not well enough. <laughs> okay. Not well enough. Fair yeah. enough. But to get to that space, right, after we weren't playing football. Right. And then we were playing football. And then we were playing football later than everyone else. Yeah. And then we had to get through this game and not go through that game. You had all these ups and downs at Wisconsin. How did you keep it all together? Well, I think you, you know, kind of talked about it. You knew going into the season it was going to be different, okay. and just tried to talk about let's let's be grateful for what we have this day, and try to find a way to make the most of it. And uh, I don't think anyone could have predicted how it would play out. Um, you know, it was it'd be certainly a thing for everyone. A year you wouldn't want to repeat again. But also, you know, if you put things in perspective and relatively speaking, we were pretty fortunate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and we're still playing a game. We're still, heck, we had interaction with each other mm -hmm. and being around it. And um, there's so many other people that went through a lot worse things that, um, you know, in the end, I hope that we all learned something from it that you could apply going forward that, that makes you better. It's a brilliant perspective, Coach. I appreciate that. Um, I got to see a little bit of Jalen Berger. Uh, I hope to see a lot of Jalen Berger right. in 2021. What did he show you as a tailback in 2020? You know, we're excited about Jalen, and, and certainly, um, you know, believe this when we're recruiting him, and and believe it more so now. You know, he's he's obviously talented. Um, you know, he I think he's got a chance to be a good player and. <laughs> Like many freshmen, they've got to they've got to continue to mature mm -hmm. and to grow, and that's not like a, a negative or anything. It, it's natural mm -hmm. part of it, and um, and that's what you want to see out of all your players, and all your young players, and and Jalen's certainly one of those. I would be remiss if I did not ask you how excited you are to be playing this game in Chicago. Uh, how excited are you to get that game against Notre Dame? Yeah, I think I'm. I'm. I'm excited about every game we get to play, right? Okay. And and, um, and when you get a chance to play against a really good football team, you know, not only I'm excited, but I know our players are excited. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. And then to be able to do it, you know, you're playing in, you know, an NFL stadium, and you know, for our kids, it's one new experience. You know. A lot of guys have watched games in Soldier Field, but they've never played in them. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm excited for them to get that opportunity. And, um, you know, I think that's what, what makes me most excited is I know it, it'll be a good experience for our players. Now, to take advantage of that mm -hmm. and make it a great experience, you got to play well. And you got to do all you can. And, and you know it's going to be a heck of a challenge playing against a really good football team. But that's also kind of the beauty of the sport is, you know, every week's a challenge and that one's certainly going to be no different. Yeah, your schedule is unique uh, in the challenge department. There's yeah. that game. You also got a, a very stout Army team in non-conference. Right. I'm very excited to see just you guys go play some ball here, especially after after last year because I think there's a lot of pent-up aggression from your fans that right. want to get back into Camp Randall, see if they can have a good time. Uh, how excited are you to have that place full? Oh, I think it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And, you know, I thought about that last year. We've mm -hmm. got uh, players that have played a season but have never played in front of fans. And, mm -hmm. and then I realized not just for our players what it means, but when you talk to our fans and, you know, so much of it, the, the fan experience is, it's more than just the game. You know, it's, it's who they're going with and, and what that means, you know, family or friends. Or this is when we connect or, you know, so many different storylines, right? And it's the tailgate before, it's what we do after, it's the drive down. 
you know, so I think that it, it, it certainly means a ton and uh, to a lot of us. And, and yet, you know, just to have that opportunity, anytime you, you start the season, you're excited for the first game. And then you're playing against not just a conference opponent, but a really good team in Penn State. And at home, you get the fans back, you know, certainly looking forward to that day. And I'm excited for our players and uh, to, again, make the most of that opportunity. We got to make sure that we, we put the work in so that we can uh, make the best of it. Uh, I had the audacity to put together what I thought of <laughs> as the all-time Big Ten offense and defense in the history of the league. Okay. Uh, so you have offense and defense in front of you on both of those sheets. Who did I leave off? I like that you got Joe. I like that you got JT. <laughs> Who's your tight end? There isn't one. You got to with three end. wide receivers. Yeah, you got to go with tight end. Okay, still. who am I at? I got to get a little work on that one. But yeah, okay. But we okay. need a tight end. Okay, well, right. we need a tight end. Yeah, we need a tight end. <laughs> Bronco Nagurski, like how he stands out. <laughs> JJ Watt, Spielman, Jimmy, very nice. Chris Gamble, Jack Tate, how about that? Yeah. Think of that. Yeah. Got to have the assassin on the defense. You know what? You can't take one of these guys off, mm. but think of who's not on there. It's it, a, it blows it's you away. Right. Well, I mean, and for me, I'm very proud to, that that's, that's your defense coordinator. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Oh, All right. yeah. That was Same. cool. But okay. you think about who's not on there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and. But you wouldn't cool. take. I'm not saying take one off. But th that's, that's, that's why pretty it's a cool. pretty cool thought yeah. experiment, right? Yeah. You could probably have six or seven of these and feel good about oh, it. Oh, feel great. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You'd take them all. Oh, you, every day. Every, <laughs> every day. day. Yeah, that's right. Wisconsin coach Paul Chris, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate your time.